Persistence and commitment and tenacity, the fight that we all need to have when something truly matters to us. I have an, like, an absolute passion for F1, Formula One. Formula One represents the pinnacle of motorsport. That car is a masterpiece. The downforce of that car would enable it to drive upside down at speed. The, the g-force that that car can hold in a corner is like four or five g's. But there's two laws that you need to know about racing. Two rules. Every racetrack has a racing line, which means the track itself is not the line. Because what we know is that an object in motion tends to stay in motion until what? Okay, an unbalanced force. Something stops it. Number two, the shortest distance between two points is a, a straight line. So every track has a line, every car has a line, every condition creates the perfect line. And that perfect line is the straightest path through this course. So here's the metaphor. The racetrack is life. Sometimes life has straightaways. Life is good. Everything's great. But every F1 racetrack, every racetrack has corners, unless you're um, drag racing. Everything has corners, and corners are the moments in our life where we're stuck in adversity. And so the path, the path, the way to win a race is to straighten the course. And so what that means is race car drivers, this little red zone right here, that's not like kind of like the, I'm going to start slowing down. That's called threshold braking. I am literally slamming the brakes on my car to stop that car as fast as I possibly can because I waited to the very last moment to brake. And my heart and my brain are telling me right now that I'm about to die. I can't stop! Help! There's a cliff! But I trust my car and I know that it's going to stop. And so that last point is when I start threshold braking. And I brake as hard as I can to get to the speed, the maximum speed that I can carry through the corner. And then I straighten that corner out because I want to find the fastest, most direct, high-speed path through my trial, my adversity. I don't want to waste time in the corner. It slows me down. I want to get through it as fast as I can. And I'm always looking around the corner to see the track, the straightaway, on the other side. That's literally what you do. You don't look at the, at the road where you're at. You're looking clear around the path. Race car drivers are always looking ahead. They're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. They're always focused on the outcome, the next straightaway, the next moment. And I'm trying to get through this moment of pain and adversity as fast as I possibly can. So the driver that has the fastest car but is able to find the line and stay consistently on the line of the track is the guy that wins or the gal that wins the race in every case. Somebody may get the fastest lap, but that's not always the person that wins the race. Speaking of this commitment and focus, this is Cha Sassoon. I don't know that I've told everybody in this room about Cha Sassoon. But she was in her 60s, 65, I believe, and she decided it's time to get my driver's license. She lived in Seoul, South Korea. And so she decided to go get her driver's license, and there was a bus ride and a fee that she had to pay. It was like an excursion, like a two-hour round trip. So she goes to take her test, and she fails it. So she pays her fee, comes back the next day, takes it again. And then she takes it again. And she can't pass it. Passing score was, uh, I think it was 80%. She can't pass it, so she takes it again and again. She hits 100 times, and she can't pass this test. So she keeps trying. She keeps paying her fee 200 times, 300, 400, 5, 6, 7, 800, 900, and 49 times she failed the driving test. She passed it on the 950th try. And like they bought her flowers. They went out and they had this like huge celebration. Just imagine that. Think about that. Showing up 950 times and not passing and keep coming back for more. She failed the driving test a few times as well, the, the driving portion. But eventually Kia bought her a car and featured in a commercial because they were so enamored by this story. It was like made national headlines. 
But to me, it's a story of just persistence and commitment and tenacity, the fight that we all need to have when something truly matters to us.